hi hello welcome back so in this video we are having a small introduction of hardware inventory how the hardware inventory is in to work what is an hardware inventory and if in case we need to extend the hardware inventory how we can do it where where are the logs get created and saved so everything about hardware inventory so a hardware inventory in the configuration manager uh, is uh, is collect information about the hardware and the uh, and SCCM client works in the backend to collect this uh, this information. So uh, by default, uh, hardware inventory is uh, enabled and it's collect the inventory from the using SCCM client and get stored into the site database. And uh, by default, uh, it's run by default it's run once in a seven day. So let's jump into the uh, SCCM, SCCM uh, console and let's check, let's check the hardware inventory details over there. So for that we have to go on to the administration, uh, administration on the client setting. Click on client setting and you will find the default client setting. Double click on it and open. So now over here you will find a tab called uh, hardware inventory click on that so over here you can see by default it is enabled and hardware inventory schedule so by default it runs once in a seven day so that is by default uh, at schedule interval so there is a delay time that 240 minutes and the file MIS file size is 250 and these are the classes that uh, that it going to be discovered uh, from the SCCM the client is going to discover and send it to the SCCM now if uh, If a machine has a healthy SCCM client and that means it is going to send the hardware inventory or software inventory to the SCCM uh, Let's go to the C drive and check uh, the logs files as well so before we jump into the uh, SCCM uh, logs about the inventory I just wanted to confirm that the SCCM is not going to uh, query the every single details uh, of the hardware inventory uh, by default it's enable the default inventory details that is enabled and in case if we wanted to extend the inventory we can enable few of the details from the classes uh, from set classes so let's jump into the uh, the logs files and check okay now I am on one of the client machine so let's open the uh, C drive and check the client log if I go on C windows we will find a folder called CCM inside CCM you will find a folder called inventory so this is the place where the inventory details got saved so uh, now one more thing uh, for hardware and software this is the place where the both file got uh, get saved so if I go into temporary you will find some of the file that are temporary got saved and then it got moved to some other places and if I go to control panel and if I go to control panel by default inventory runs seven days a week by default that that is the rule if you wanted to change it we can change it however if you want to force that uh, inventory to be run so what we can do we can go into the control panel and we can click on configuration manager on configuration manager on action tab you will find a hardware inventory cycle and a software inventory cycle so if I click on hardware inventory cycle and run it what it's go what is going to do is is going to query the the hardware inventory and it's going to send the report and moreover if I go uh, moreover if I go on SCCM server let me go on SCCM server and if I want to see uh, this GW1 server if I right click on it and if I want to say uh, if you want to query the hardware inventory from over here what we can do we can click on start and click on resource explorer so this will it, this will fast the details like if I click on hardware uh, it will refresh first and you will be able to see the hardware inventory detail over there in case I wanted to see the memory so now this is the memory detail suppose I wanted to see that hard disk detail I can click on hard disk and it will query the hard, del hard, hard disk details uh, suppose let's take uh, another example of uh, 
this uh, virtual machine is there suppose I wanted to have system information now this will give us this system information now the query uh, that run in the backend is SQL queries and it it's uh, it's fetches the information uh, for, for the attributes that is enabled from the class and in case if we wanted to see uh, what are that query uh, what are the information that it is going to uh, to get so what we will do we will open the SCCM configuration manager will go on to the administrator administrator and client setting double click on default client setting hardware inventory and click on classes so it will give the information about the classes now let's check the hardware uh, hard disk detail that what are the things that it is going to pull, for, pull from the hard disk so we will click on hard drive so you can see it's only pulling the information of uh, device ID availability capacity descriptions index and manufacturing details media size media type sorry model name and these are the details so it's not going to uh, it's not going to fetch or query the every single details of the hardware classes however if we want to modify it we can definitely do it uh, so let's do one thing uh, let's uh, we'll, we'll create a new another video where we are going to extend the hardware and software inventory and we will be doing a lab practical thank you so much for watching this video if you are new, new to this channel please like and subscribe thank you